Now the second question, 4,89,348 minus 48,365. So first let us estimate the difference of those two numbers to the nearest hundreds. So then 4,89,348 rounds of 2. If you round off to the nearest hundreds, we take 48, so it is less than 0. So then we take 4,89,300. And next 48,365. So this will be rounded off to 48,400. Now the estimated difference. Zero minus zero 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 minus zero zero then carry ten plus three thirteen thirteen minus four nine and here eight minus eight zero so eight minus four four then four so it is four lakh forty thousand nine hundred so when you correct to the nearest tens So then the first number rounds of 2, the 1's place is 8 more than 5, so it will become now 4,89,350 and the second number if you round off to the nearest tens, so the 1's place 5, so then we take the next digit 17 of 48,370. Now the estimated difference is 0. Then if we carry 10 plus 5, 15 minus 7, 8. So we carry 1, 10 plus 2, 12 minus 3, 9. Here 8 is there, 8 minus 8, 0. 8 minus 4, 4. Then 4. So it is 4,40,980. Now let us solve the next question. Estimate the following products using general rule. So in the first question, the product of 578 and 161. So the highest place value in each of the given numbers is hundreds. So these two numbers should be rounded off to the nearest hundreds. So to the nearest hundreds so then 578 rounds of 2 so up to the tens place 78 it is more than 50 so we take 600 and the next one 161 Rounds of 2, here also up to 10 plus 61 it is more than 50, so we take 200. Now the estimated product, so when you multiply these two, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 into, with 0 if you multiply 0, 0, 0, now 2 zeros, 0, 2 zeros, 0, 2, 6 are 12. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 1. So it is 1 lakh 20,000 is the estimated product.
Now the second question 5281 into 3491. So the highest place value of each of the given numbers is thousands. So then we have to round off these numbers to the thousands. So to nearest thousands. So 5281 rounds of 2. So the up to hundreds place is 281. So it is less than 500. So we take it is 5000 and next 3491. rounds of 2 so here 491 up to and hundreds plus 491 it is less than 500 so we take 3000 so then if you multiply these two so with 0 we get 1 2 3 4 zeros 1 2 3 4 zeros then with 0 again 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros with 3, 0, 0, 0 then 3, 5 are 15 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, 1 so 1's, 10's, 100's, 1000's, 10,000's, lakhs, 10 lakhs, crore so 1 crore 50 lakhs so you will get some other answer when you correct each of the numbers to the nearest hundreds or the nearest tens so far we have learnt how to estimate the sum and the difference and also the product of the given numbers now let us learn how to use the brackets now using brackets Now let us take a situation that for example Raju has bought notebooks means 6 notebooks of 10 rupees each and Kiran also also bought 7 notebooks of the same cost means in 10 rupees so then we have to find the total amount should be paid to the shopkeeper so then Raju calculated as the amount A equals to the total number of books means 6 plus 7 should be multiplied by the cost of each book so then we get 6 plus 7 13 into 10 so this equals to 130 rupees then Kiran has calculated he multiplied the number of books that Raju bought by the cost of each book so then so that is 6 into 10 plus he added this product to the again the another product that the number of books that Kiran bought means that is 7 by the cost of each book means 7 into 10 so then we get 6 10 are 60 plus 7 10 are 70 so we get the total amount same as 130 rupees and some other student Rajesh has calculated this as 6 plus 7 into 10 so this equals to 6 plus 7 10 are 70 and 6 plus 70 76 but this amount is absolutely wrong so then how to find the correct result then 
with to overcome this problem so in such cases so brackets are used to find the single thing so here 6 plus 7 the number of books bought by Raju and Kiran so this 6 plus 7 is considered as the single number so that is why we use the brackets for 6 and 7 so then it is multiplied by the cost of each book 10 so that is 10 rupees and the total number of books is 13 is multiplied by 10 now for example 2 into 5 plus 3 into 5 so this can be written as 2 plus 3 of into 5 so then this equals to 2 plus 3 5 into 5 so we use brackets so without any confusion and the number which the numbers which is written in the brackets is considered as a single number so this will be simplified first then this number will be multiplied by the other number given in the product now let us see expanding brackets how to expand the brackets Now if you take the product 7 into 109, so this can be written as 7 into 1 half 9 can be written as 100 plus 9. So then this equals to 7 is multiplied by both 7 into 100 plus 7 into 9. So this equals to 7 into 100, 700 plus 7 into 63. So we get 763. Now if you want to find the product of 1 or 2 and 1 or 3, so when 1 or 2 and 1 or 3 are multiplied, so then 1 or 2 can be written as 100 plus 2 into 1 or 3 can be written as 100 plus 3. Now this equals to, so here 100 is multiplied by 1 or 100 plus 3 plus 2 is also multiplied by 100 plus 3. Now this equals to here 100 is multiplied by both 100 and 3. So then 100 into 100 plus 100 into 3. Plus here 2 is multiplied by both 100 and 3. So then 2 into 100 plus 2 into 3. So this equals to 100 into 100, 10,000 plus 100 into 3, 300 plus 2 into 100, 200 plus 2, 3 is 6. So this equals to 10,000 plus 300 plus 200, 500 plus 6, 10,506. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.